here with Washington State women's basketball head coach Kimmy Etheridge. Coach, your team has three games this week. You're going to make up a game tomorrow against Oregon State, and then you hit the Boeing Apple Cup Series against Washington. First game will be here in Pullman on Friday. The second game will be in Seattle on Sunday. So just how is your team preparing for this uh, three-game week? You know, it's been an adventure. Um, we watched everybody else around the country kind of go through their COVID experience. And, you know, in, in some crazy way, ours hit mostly all at once. Uh, we still have a few kids out and, and overall two kids that haven't gotten it. So they're like our mutants and X-Men that seem to be so strong that they're not going to get it. Let's hope. But, you know, the timing was, you know, we lost one weekend and we're excited about that. I think going forward, it, it gives us, um, you know, I don't think it'll be us that, that is out for any reason, unless, you know, there shouldn't be because of this. So, uh, all of us are experiencing a little bit differently. You know, it's not been just a vacation. Um, people have been out. They, they come back in separate, uh, at separate times. They, you know, obviously their conditioning isn't what it was. <clears throat> Getting everybody back into the flow has been a little bit of adventure, not having our practice guys at times and uh, not enough quite to practice. So all of those things that everybody's going through and living through, um, but excited about the fact that we're getting everybody back and, and uh, in the next couple of days, we'll, we'll have a, a, full, a full team again. So kind of uh, getting the focus back on the court and kind of on the basketball here, how, how have you all been using this time to kind of prepare for this week? I know you've kind of had some different players in and out. You haven't been able to practice consistently. So just – how have you guys been able to go about this irregular time and still prep and get ready for a, a really good Oregon State team here tomorrow? Well, we didn't know for sure Oregon State was happening until yesterday. So um, thankfully, before we shut down the first time, we had done a, a little bit of film work on them um, and have spent the last couple of days doing that. So um, Throwing them in in the midweek, knowing you, you've got to play your rival game over the weekend, you know, isn't ideal for anyone. Uh, but it's what everybody has to do to, to get games back and to get caught, caught up again. Um, you know, fortunate that Oregon State was open this midweek and they were able to get here and, and play the game that, that we missed. Um, it, but it's a challenge. It's a challenge to get everybody back in the gym and, and just to get yourself going again, uh, much less get, get prepared for a, a great Oregon State team and then to follow it up with your rival games almost back to back. So it's a tough week for us. Uh, but again, I think our kids, they sat around for a while and they're excited to be back on the floor and, and, and now looking forward to the, the back half of the, the season. You're going to be coming back at home. It's only going to be the second time tomorrow that you've played at home in 2022. You've had a few weekends on the road to open up Pac-12 play but now you're going to be back here at home. How exciting and just how, how much of an advantage is it playing here at home for you guys? I think you all have, are, are seven and one at home over your last eight games, and that dates back to last season. Playing, playing some really, really strong ball at Beasley. So just kind of what attributes to that and just how excited does this team get just to be, be at Beasley? Well, it feels like it's been forever, um, you know, and – I think the hard part for this year has been our really awkward game times. You know, we've had so many midday games during the middle of the week or a week, uh, uh, you know, a, a week uh, work day type thing and, and not, not conducive for fans, not conducive for band, not conducive for, you know, the people that show up at our games. So another one tomorrow for a one o'clock start with Oregon State. So it's not the perfect setting, but again, at this stage, I don't think anyone can get greedy and, and seek that. We just have to get these games in. We have to make it as convenient for the teams that are traveling and having three games in, in a week. Um, and, you know, for us, it's just, uh, it's, it's thrilling to be back home. It's, it feels like we haven't been here uh, we love obviously being in, in front of our own fans and hope that we can get some out there, not only for this game, but Friday's game against UW. Um, again, we want to build some momentum. We want to, we want to play some games and get, to, and get to the point where we're playing really, really good basketball at the most crucial time of the year. And, and to win these games coming up, we have to play really, really good basketball. How big of a week is this going into this season? You go, you got three games ahead of you. You've got an opportunity to maybe, you know, make up some ground in the standings and maybe collect some wins. So how, how big of a, of a week is this for you having three games and two of those being at home? Well, excited that they're at home. Again, 
a little bit front loaded on our on our way schedule. Um, lost a game at Arizona State, so we still have to to make that up. But uh, you know. I, I don't think you can get too far ahead. Uh, the games are incredible that we have to play, the competition, the rivalries, the, the you don't know what you're getting. You don't know what your team, what team is showing up on your floor, much less your opponents with COVID still, uh, you know, going through the ranks. Um, so all we can do is really be consistent at how we practice and how we prepare. I've liked our team. I, I think our, our big concern coming out of our COVID situation is just a little bit of conditioning and, and going to have to play a lot of players and get a lot of rest and get people on, in and out of the games and and not overdo it because I don't think anyone's in perfect shape right now and, and ready to play 40 minutes for a game. So I think that's the biggest challenge is, is managing the game and the minutes and and making sure that we can we we have the energy to sustain the efforts and the, the competition that we're playing. How are you? Uh, I know it's a little bit later in the week and you do have that game against Oregon State, but how have you guys uh, – are you guys preparing for the Huskies? How are you all preparing for them? It, it's a team that's got a new coach, uh, some new players as well. So kind of how are you preparing for the Huskies and what are you anticipating out of Washington this week? Well, the one thing I love about this program and the players in this program, and, and it, it's always been this way since we got here, uh, they're really kind of ballers. They, they watch other teams. They, they, uh, they, they know who's playing well. They, they're familiar with, the new players that are playing off of, on teams across the, the conference, they clearly know the people that we've already competed against and the people that we know. Uh, they know it's UW. They know it's Apple Cup. They know all of that. So obviously that's in the back of our minds, but uh, they don't know much more than that other than seeing them every once in a while. We haven't begun to scout them. Um, coaches know a little bit more, but uh, we just need to focus on Oregon State right now and uh, then be super excited to play, you know, uh, UW and, and get those two games done. Yeah. And not, not to look too far ahead or the past Oregon State, but just kind of what unique challenges does the scheduling this weekend bring to you guys as a coaching staff playing Washington back-to-back -back games? You get to see them Friday here in Pullman, and then you're going to turn right back around on Sunday and see them in Seattle. So how, how is, is that play kind of, is that playing to your favor a little bit, or does that make it a little bit more challenging to scout coming, having to play the same team back to back games? Yeah, I don't, you know, we've never done this. I think every year that, that I've been here, the three previous, we, we split this weekend up and we didn't do it back to back. So this is the first time we've, I've ever experienced playing someone on a Friday, Sunday, same team back to back. A lot of people in our league do it. Uh, I think, from a scouting perspective, it's probably a little easier on the players. It's a lot harder to, to change gears and completely scout a, a brand new team on that in between day and, and not get very many reps and things like that against that, that, that opponent. So, um, you know, but I, I don't have much experience doing it. I just know that, that it's going to be a challenge to, to play your rival. Uh, people play up, people play great. Um, all sorts of, you know, innuendos and things come into that like you just never know with the rivalry game uh, our kids really look forward to playing that game uh, so our co our community loves to play against UW so you know that's on the horizon and that's something that we'll look forward to over the weekend it's just we've got to we got to play a great 40 minutes tomorrow against Oregon State before we even even remotely think about that all right coach we'll appreciate your time best of luck this week and we'll talk to you after the Oregon State game and go Cougs go Cougs thank you